worst that could happen. The worst that has happened is we've had no audio. Correct. Look how far back here we can go. Come back here with me. Look, look how far away we are. You just want to stay really close to that camera, don't you? I do. Why is that? This way, if, if people walk here, we can yeah, talk to them. Walk, walk right in front of yes. us. Yeah. Well, the microphones, we can go to the other side of the store. We could. They're wireless, you know. Are they? Yeah, they're magnetized and wireless. Last week, we're looking for audio. Just like last week, someone is checking the audio, supposed to give us a thumb up, <laughs> as I Have recall. Have you caught yourself? No. Saying thumb up and not thumbs? No, no I always okay. say thumbs up. Okay. Uh, unless I'm being teased about it by you. Uh, <laughs> last week, you were telling me about softball. Yes. We were right in the middle of the discussion when we had to go to the show. Uh, okay. Yeah. What were you saying? <laughs> that was a week ago. I don't remember what I said 10 minutes ago for crying out loud. We said that the softball is larger than the, the baseball. baseball, which you called a hard ball. Hardball, right. It's hardball, right. softball. Yeah. The, the bats are the same, though? Same bats? Uh, the barrel is different, actually, What's on the bats. The, what part of the bat is a barrel? So... The part you hit it with or the yes. part you hold? Okay, that's the, the barrel. You hold it at... At the chuck. Sure. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> the chuck and then the, the barrel. The is handle. The handle, hold it at yes, the handle. yes, yes. With the tape around it. With the tape around it. Mm -hmm. And what kind of tape is that? Uh, sports tape? I don't sports know. Sports tape. Oh. <laughs> Grip oh. tape. Uh, and you, you uh, are we going to talk about what you did last weekend? Uh, you can say no. <laughs> Raked a bunch of softball fields and... Did you? Oh, you were yeah, out there raking yeah. softball fields. Yeah. Is this it was what a you do for day. fun? It was... I actually did have a lot of fun, yes. Did you? Yes. I love watching live sports. I mean, with COVID, it, it oh, was... Oh, so there was a game going on. There were games you were going on to, all I thought weekend. this was all just zen. You were out there making nice designs. Right, right. Yeah. There, was, you, yeah, there was a purpose like to like that. Oh, yes, okay. yes, of course. So, a game? What game? Live sports? Yes. Tell yes. me all about it. <laughs> Is it time to go to the show now? Not yet. You've got two minutes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just watch and, like watching, uh, I don't know, all, all sports except for soccer. Soccer's the best one to watch, though. <laughs> okay. The fastest moving. Sure, sure. Uh, but you were watching games this weekend. Correct, yeah. And, and the price of admission for you was? Free. You, apparently you had to rake the, oh, yeah. rake <laughs> yes. the sand. Yes. Uh, yeah, when you're a part of a club, you have to uh, volunteer, oh, do, do some you volunteer play softball? hours. Is that what you're talking about? No. Yeah, I don't know where you're going with this. No. Uh, so my daughters, oh, three of them. Daughters. Yes, yes. They were playing softball. Three of the, how many do you have? All three. All three. Yes, okay. yes. They were playing softball. They were playing softball. This past weekend. Correct. And to get you there, they said you got to rake. Right. Or you get to rake because right. you enjoy it. Of course, yes. Oh, that yes. was very nice. Yes. They've they, they nice got designs. your number, yeah. Yes. yes Dad, come on. We'll let you rake the sand. <laughs> all day. All day? Yes. Every yes. day? Just all day on Saturday. All day on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, that yep. explains the color. Correct. Yeah, you got a little sun, didn't you? A little bit. Did I did put it? sunscreen on, though. Did you? On the girls, yes. Good. On my they, daughter. They say that's important. Yes. Yeah, they say that's important. You still got another minute. What are we going to get in the middle of a conversation? So we What did you do this weekend? It? I didn't do anything this weekend. No? I don't think so. Did you go cycling or anything? Yeah, I try to do that every day. I did it every morning this weekend. Yeah, it's kind of nice though when it rains and you don't have to do it, right? Uh, no, I like cycling, okay. but I like doing it in the early morning because there's less traffic, practically none, right? And the temperature is cooler because it has been hot lately. It has, it has been, been hot. Steamy, yes. Now that we're right in the middle of that conversation, I think we'll just go to the show. Okay, that? that sounds great. Let me get rid of the green room and bring up an intro. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number 12 of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Today is Wednesday, June 7th, 2023, and we are broadcasting live smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, everyone's favorite mayor of Meatville. Mr. Luke Jacobs. Luke, how are you? Oh, nice great. to see how you again. I haven't Good seen you in forever. You. It's What did you do while, this weekend yes. for the people who have been watching for the last five minutes? <laughs> Outside all weekend of the softball tournament, yes. And oh, that explains the color. Yes. It's as if we rehearsed this. Right. Uh, 
I'll recap the show, just so okay. people know what they're getting into. Uh, we have weekly specials. We'll go through those quickly. We're going to talk about Brats of the Week. Just before we started recording, not recording, streaming live, Yes. a very special guest walked in. Yes. I, I don't know if I should mention who it is. Why don't you go ahead and mention who's, who's going to be on the show today? I think uh, Mayor Woodford is here. Mayor Woodford. Yes. Mayor of? Appleton. Uh, okay, so we've got the Mayor of Meekville and the Mayor of Appleton. Yes. Good, good, good. Yes. Uh, I will cover the special upcoming days, and we'll go through the winner of last week's contest, and maybe we'll have another contest. Do you let's, think we will? Let's, let's do it. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. For anyone who may <laughs> not so know, close. <laughs> please tell us where we are. We are at Jacob's Meat Market in uh, Appleton, Wisconsin. You Beautiful sell, Appleton, Wisconsin. You sell Wisconsin. all kinds of meat here. We do. Is that why you call it a meat market? I think so, yes. How long, have you, how long has the meat market <laughs> been here? Uh, it's been uh, Jacob's Meat Market since 1945, so 77 years. 77 years. And you've been running it the whole time? See, of I do course. that every week. Of course, every week. yes. Every yes. Week. News, I have some news. Unless you, you want to, unless you want to tell everybody. No. You mentioned you the last parade. I'm going to mention this one. This Saturday, the 10th of June, is the Appleton Flag Day Parade. It's June 10th from two to four. I'm not sure where in the city, but you could probably ask the mayor when you have him here. Yeah. I, I um, could. Uh, it's not Flag Day though. Correct. June 10th is not Flag Day. Correct. Which, when is Flag Day? Is it today? No, it's is the 14th. It next week. One okay. week from today. Okay. One week okay. from today. And today, of course, is Wednesday. You know what that means. Yes, I have Broad Fry out. Wednesday. Broad fry Wednesday. <laughs> of course. You're serving them here, yes. hot for lunch. Mm -hmm. Do you know which ones you're serving today? Yes. What are they? Pork or cheddar. Pork or cheddar? Yes. Last week after the show, I went and got a, a pork broth. Yes. I got yes, it. you did. I right saw there you. In the back. Did you I see saw it? you, yes. I got the idea because it. you were already eating one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to go through the weekly specials, but first, okay. you got to tell me a joke. How many paranoids does it take to change a light bulb? Paranoid? I don't know. How many paranoids does it take? Who wants to know? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I you have, have a joke? I have a joke. You I have a joke, and it's right up your alley because you are the mayor of Meatville. I expect you to get this one, although okay. I haven't told you what it is. Okay. Uh, what do you call a pig that does karate? <laughs> On the spot? I don't know. A pork chop. A pork chop. A pork chop. A pork chop. Please tell everyone about your Thanks mailing for, Thanks for... <laughs> Yeah, Setting you up for failure segue. there, yes. Segue. Right, right, yes. Next next question. <laughs> Sign up for your mailing list. You've got yes. a mailing list. Yes, we do. And everyone should be on it because they'd already know about this. They wouldn't have to watch this show, except for the mayor. Right, yeah. right, so of course. how does a person sign up for your mailing list? Now, this is a, an electronic mailing list. This is kind electronic of a newfangled thing, yeah, right? It's, it, it I doesn't think they go shorten through. it at email. Email yes. mailing list. Okay. Yes, yes. How does a person sign up for that? Uh, so that, right on our website. Oh, Jacob's you have a website. <laughs> yes, it's on the World Wide Web. World Wide Web. Yes, Where do I find that, first of all? On the computer or on, on the your computer, phone. On the phone. Yes. But I'm sure it has an address, though. Yes, so jacobsmeatmarket.com. Jacob's oh, Luke Jacobs? <laughs> it's something like that. Something yeah. like that. Jacobsmeatmarket.com. Yes. Any page. Any I page also need right an email inside. address, don't I? Yes, you do. Okay, and I just put it in there. Yes. And hit and you click go. Subscribe. Yes. Or go mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. And then that way, how many emails are you going to send me a week? Two. Two. I'm not going to send you any, but... No, but the system will. The system will, yes. So one is the specials. What's the other one? Uh, specials and uh, the, oh, put you on the, 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 the menu. The The menu. The weekly menu, yes, of the course. Weekly, what's a menu? What's a, me what's a menu? What's a menu? All these questions today, Eric. Well, some people may not know. <clears throat> right. Uh, so we do lunches Monday through Friday. 11 to 2. Are they hot lunches? They're hot They're lunches, hot yes. Lunches. Yes. Why don't you just tell everybody, Eric? You, uh, my understanding is that you do a hot lunch here Monday through Friday. Yes. From 11 to 2. I don't. Rena does. Rena does. Yes. Rena does all the cooking. got a person for that. So you can come in here from 11 to 2 any Monday through Friday mostly. Yes. Uh, and Even get Flag lunch. Day next week. Even Flag Day. Yes. That's probably a brat fry it Wednesday, sure is. isn't it? It's a Wednesday, yes. Speaking of specials, why don't we just go into it? Yes. A... Yes. All right. Let me see so, if I have anything on my screen here. Okay. First thing says chicken. Yes. Yes. We have a jumbo bone-in chicken breast so, on sale for two forty nine a pound. These are just the breasts? Yes. And they're jumbo? Right. Two forty. Bone in, skin on. And the skin is on? Correct. The skin is tasty. It is. Yeah, I it like is. And skin. it also protects the meat when you're cooking it. Is that so? From drying out. Yes. Oh. I, I, never mind. Go on. OK. <laughs> Next. You don't have a grill, so you wouldn't understand. I wouldn't understand. Anyway, <laughs> anyway uh, Jacob's own sweet and spicy beef jerky. Is it sweet? And spicy. And spicy. Yes, sir. Equal, equal it's parts? It's like Crispix, you know, like sweet on one side. and. Spicy on the other. I'm not familiar with that. What is Crispix? The cereal? Uh, yeah, see? <laughs> I know what it is, but I wanted to see what you're going to say. Oh, okay. 
Uh, jerky. You yes. got jerky on, Beef on jerky, yes. special this week. Keep yes. that in mind because that might come up later in the program. Uh oh. <laughs> What'd you call me? Yeah. Sweet? And spicy. spicy? Yes. Yes. What's next? Next, I, we have an oh. Italian porchetta roast. A porchetta roast? Yes. Do tell. It's a boneless pork butt. Uh, rolled, uh, tied up, and then rolled in um, Italian porchetta seasonings. Uh, does anybody pronounce that or spell it porchetta? Can that you also do. be a porchetta? You do, okay. sure. <laughs> All right, then I know what that this is. This is a Jacob's version, uh, apparently. I, I may need one of those. They're yes. delicious. They are. They're yes. delicious. They're great in the slow cooker, and the house smells fantastic when you're cooking it. Yeah. You gonna cook one? Sure. 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 On special, three forty-nine a pound. Yes. And they're already. Tied up. Yes, they're already so, tied up. Uh, they're anywhere from like a pound and a half to five pounds. Oh, you get a, you I'll, I'll take a small one like. or I'll take a big one. Sure. Okay. Sure. Very good. Very good. The next one says tri tips. Yes. Um, some fresh no. California tri tips. These aren't just any tri tips. These are California tri tips. Right. The they're not from kind. California, oh, but the oh. California refers to like the region that they're really popular. Tri tips are very popular in California. Correct. Uh, I, I can attest to that. Yes. yes. I, I'm familiar with California slightly. Uh, you were saying. <laughs> but California then you came over to the good side. And these are fresh. They are fresh, yes. As it says. And, and 10 right 99 here. a pound. Right here, it says fresh. <laughs> Can you see that? Right right there. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, 10 99 a pound? Yes. And They're normally 12 99 a pound. So do they come, what do they come in? They're uh, typically anywhere between a pound and a half to three pounds. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so again, it's like a roast size. Uh, but give me a small one. Give me a big one. Yeah, yep. Okay. And, and, and gimme, gimme. something else I like on your menu here. What's what's next? Uh, fresh all natural pork tenderloins. Tenderloins. Yes. They're delicious. Yes. Also they are. good for slow cooking. Sure. Maybe sure. on the grill. Right. Slow cooking on the grill. Yeah. Slow cooking on the grill. Both right. things at the same time. Correct. Wow. Yes. They're, they're excellent flavor. Is they're... there a difference between pork tenderloins and porchetta roasts? Yes. So the if you were listening, you would know that the porchetta or porchetta or whatever you want to call it um, <laughs> is a pork butt roast. Uh huh, and, and I do recall that. Yes. I recall you saying the word butt. Okay. What are you going to say about the tenderloins? Pork tenderloins Something are about the loins? tenderloin. Yeah, the, the, the most tender part of the, the whole pig. Where does that come from? The tenderloin. What part of the pig is the tenderloin? So it's right right off the back. Right off the back. Yes. So, like the back straps have a lot of, uh, we've got a lot of So the tenderloins lead to the butt. Sure. Okay. So it's a different part of the pig. Right. Uh, which is better and why? Uh, well, they, they both have their great qualities. Okay. Um, I like the pork tenderloin you should for be a grilling. That sure. Really a good sure. Name. Sure. <laughs> Mayor of Meatville. Yes. Right. Right. Um, so the pork tenderloins are great for. Um, you can bake them in the oven. Um, they have great flavor. Um, the pork pork butt roast or porchetta roast are really good for slow cooking and shredding apart. Oh, you so shred those. Have, the yes. tenderloins you would do in an oven. Correct. Oh, or okay. you could or you could uh, butterfly them and put them on the grill as well. Oh. Some people do bacon wrapped pork tenderloins too. That does sound good. Yes, that it's delicious. Yeah, I, I suppose you sell bacon. We do, yes. Oh, a okay. lot of it. It's one stop shopping. Where yes, are we sir. going now? Uh, Wisconsin jalapeno Munster cheese, 549 a pound. Jalapeno Munster cheese. Right, so this is a new product for sounds us. Sounds kind of tasty, is, actually. This is from uh, Knaus Cheese. Oh. Um, we had her on a couple weeks, a couple weeks ago. Um, and she said that we should carry this, so, so we're carrying, we're carrying it. it, yes. And, and it's on special. Yes, sir. Have you tried it? I have not. Oh, we're gonna have to try it. Maybe I should be a politician and say, yes, I've tried it. It's the best cheese that I've ever had. Best cheese I've ever had. Yes. Uh, I have not tried it either. So uh, between this show and the next one, we will try it and we should ought to back try it. to your audience. We right. should oughta. We should oughta. Where are we going now? Uh, uh, I think you know. I need, I need the, ready? Brats of the week. <laughs> Brats of the week. Okay. Which is the first one? Uh, the first one will be uh, Jacob's own cheddar brats. Cheddar brats. I think you're cooking them up right now. Yes, she right is. Now you, yes. Yeah, they are being cooked up they right now. They are being yes. cooked, yes. You could come pick up a couple today that are cooked and ready to eat. In fact, yeah. that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so what, what some people do, too, is they um, we coincide uh, our brats of the week with our um, brat, brat, fry? brat fry. Right. So it's nice to sometimes just try a brat and see if you see like if it you first. you want to buy 10 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or 20. Yeah, because you can freeze them. Sure. Yeah. Once you buy them. Once you buy them, you can do anything you want with them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I've heard that. We don't really care before. what you do with them. Okay. Four sixty-nine a pound. I'm getting yes. a pattern here that you're always putting them on special for four sixty-nine a pound. Correct. Okay. So. Correct. I am not wrong about that. That's a good pattern. Where are we going now? To uh, Jamaica? Jacob's own Jamaican brats. Oh, four sixty-nine a pound. I think we've had these before. We have. And I asked you what makes them Jamaican. Yes. And you said. 
because I wasn't I listening. What did I say? I wasn't listening. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, it's a pork brat with dehydrated mango, papaya, and pineapple, and Jamaican jerk seasoning. Sounds delicious. Yes. I didn't get one last time. Are they ever going to be on the Rot Fry Wednesday? Sure. Probably. We'll, we'll put it on there for you uh, so you can try it. I'm going to try it. Or I'm maybe just ask Rena really nicely to fry you one up. Fry me one up? Yeah. Now, you, you say fry, Rot Fry. Rot it's Fry. It's really a grill out there. Right. I've, I've seen it. Right. I'm not really sure. I like Rot Fry. I mean, a fish that, fry is a fry. Yeah. Yeah. But a uh, broad fry is broad fry really is a broad grill, but it, it yeah. wouldn't work. Wouldn't right. work for marketing purposes. We're going to call it a broad fry. Sure. Uh, but once, because they're yours, you can cook them any way you like. Sure. Uh, I'm going to step aside now because you have a very special guest. Yes. Uh, someone uh, with whom you have been fast friends for years and years. Of I course. understand. Yes. Uh, so we'll be right back with the mayor of Appleton. I mayor understand. Mayor of Appleton. Two mayors on one screen. Every mic as though it's live. All oh, right, of oh, course, yeah. of yeah, course. That's a good idea. <laughs> Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Is it, is it Mayor Woodford? Is it Mayor Jake? Is it Hey You? Is it what do you what do you typically go by? Well, uh, my preference is whatever makes people feel comfortable. Okay. Um, you know, obviously, I want to respect the role, and sure. it's a role that I hold. But I'm Jake. Okay. Um, okay. And Perfect. So yeah, but Mayor Woodford, Mayor Jake. Okay. Hey you. Hey you. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's Do you fine. respond to uh, rocks th being thrown at you, or, or tomatoes, or? <laughs> I would respond. Okay. I'll put okay. it that way. <laughs> yes, right. All right. All right. So, how long have you been mayor? Uh, I got elected in April of twenty. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what made you want to become mayor? Uh, oh well, a whole lot of things. I mean, grew up in this community, born yeah. and raised here in Appleton, and. This isn't a political stop or anything. This is just. No, no. This is just, just BSTV. Totally. Um, <laughs> I. I grew up here, I love this community, yeah. and throughout my life I had the opportunity to learn about the things that I was passionate about and what I like to do. Sure. And as I learned more about what the role of being mayor is and you know, leading a city, those things line up with the things I'm passionate about and that I like to do. Yeah. And so that kind of led me down the path of uh, running for office. And okay. I had lots of mentors and supporters along the way who help me find that path I think we all do right I, right you know, how'd you get into this line of work right right, right yeah um, so you know found my way to this and with the help of a lot of great people in the community I uh, I ran and I got elected and nice yeah, so, nice very cool yeah, yeah. so what does a typical day look like <laughs> I mean it's, it's probably like anybody running anything you know running a business running a, a, a council running whatever yeah every I'm sure every day every day is different so yeah. what is a typical day like look like yeah so, wake up at three yeah yeah well i do get up pretty early you know, okay. i gotta get get to the gym when i can so sure. get in the more get going in the morning um there there isn't really a typical day um there are sort of patterns to the week so mondays tend to be sort of coordinating days so i meet with the leadership team and and we get ready to go for the week sure um and then there's the council meetings. Those are fairly regular. So sure. um, first and third Wednesday of council meetings, plan commission, things like that. But okay. most days are all over the place. Sure. Uh, you know, like take, take when I get this question, I get this question a lot from 
uh, kids when I'm visiting schools. You okay. know, they want to know what a typical day looks like. So usually what I'll do is just pull out my calendar and say, well, let's let's take a look at today. And I'll just okay. tell you about today. So sure. uh, today I had, I had a couple of meetings with alders this morning. So um, I have one-on-one -on -one meetings with each alder person. We have 15 alders. I have wow. a one-on-one -on -one meeting with each of them uh, at, at least once a quarter. Okay just to make sure we stay in touch and have relationships and know each other and uh, I know what their concerns are, they know what mine are. Uh, it's really helped, I think, strengthen the relationships uh, between administration and the council. Sure. Uh, helps us get work done as a city, work right. together and collaborate. Yeah. Even when we don't agree, at least we know who we are. Yeah. Uh, that makes a big difference. Communi communication is huge, I'm sure. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm here, hanging out with you. Yeah. Um, and uh, later on today, I've got a couple more meetings with staff. I uh, had a meeting with our, our city attorney earlier today, uh, meeting with staff about a project we're working on. Uh, this evening, we have a council meeting. Sure. Uh, but you know, sometimes I'm driving halfway across the state to advocate for more resources for the community. Or uh, Friday, I'll be down in Madison uh, for one of our uh, police captains who's graduating from uh, the command academy. So, oh, really? Uh, down in okay. Madison. So, okay. yeah, it just, awesome. just depends on the day. Right, um, but, right. Yeah, very active for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Do you get noticed everywhere you go? I mean, you have a very recognizable portrait. portrait yeah. You know, so I, I, I'm sure that you get recognized everywhere. And if you don't, I'm sure after this, BSTV, oh. I'm sure you will get noticed this all over This is really going to put me on the map, right, I think. Right, right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, I, actually, I was in here once during the pandemic. I don't know if you remember this, but I came in here. I had a hat on and a mask on. Everybody was wearing masks. Yeah. And you gave me some grief because you recognized me because we've known each other for I a did? while. I did? You gave me grief, believe it or not. Hmm. Yeah, this may be news. I, I don't recall. If you're, if, you're, if, you're, <laughs> if you're not a regular customer, you may find this surprising. But, right. Um, you were giving me grief. You said, hey, man, you got to take your hat off so people can you know, recognize right. you. You got to get the dome out. You know? <laughs> I, I do remember yeah, this yeah. now. Yes, yeah, yes. So you were razzing me about that. And, and actually, early on in the pandemic, um, because there weren't the sort of public interactions and community gatherings and things happening, and we were walking around with masks on, and you know, we, it, it started out that people didn't really recognize me. And I was new. Uh, mayor Hannah had been mayor for 24 years. So right. like, okay, that's the mayor. Right. So that has started to change. I'd say over the last like year and a half, um, now, yeah, when I'm out and about, I'm running into people all now the time. Now people recognize you from here down now, huh? Yeah, okay, so that, that, that adds in. Yeah, exactly. Okay, 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 cool. You know, so while I was, I, was, I was here, I got here about 10.30 and waiting and you know, running into people. Um, I, met, I met a customer. And, yeah, constituents who uh, um, recognized me. I hadn't met them, but okay. we had a nice chat, learned about sure. what they were up to, and then I sure. saw, uh, a neighbor, Jeff, uh, who was yeah. in here, and yeah. um, so that that has started to change over the last year and a half, I'd say, and I love that because it means we're out and about, we're interacting, we're together. Right. That's that's what this work is about: is connecting with people. And, right. And and being, I'm sure. You know, so you said 2020, you got elected. Yeah. So like, right during the pandemic, and yeah. so how do you get out and meet with people, and yeah. you know, how, how do you do that with without, you know harping on people or, or whatever and, and so I mean sure I'm sure that was a huge barrier huge. that you're that are that is coming down now and so you can now get out and you know interact with the people and stuff too. Yeah, I mean we all went through that in the pandemic, right? Yeah. And it was really hard. It was really hard for everybody in our own ways and um, yeah, so it's it's a much happier time yeah. You know, we get to be out and about and right. free and and uh, yeah, it's it's been really good. Really sure. positive. So you're just like a regular person you know like Actually. you're you're Jake yeah you're you're Jake Woodford you're you're on the mayor but yeah I mean you get to go to concerts you know like outdoor concerts and you you get to do stuff that everybody else does I mean yeah. that's 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 a really cool part of so I'm assuming that it's a full-time job yeah being yeah. a mayor yes okay Yeah. so here in the city of Appleton the way we're set up is we have what's what's often referred to as a strong mayor system and so what that means is the mayor is the chief elected official of the city and also the chief executive officer. So okay. uh, all of the department heads report to the mayor and, um, and the mayor is responsible for the day-to-day -day management of the city, every aspect of city operations. So okay. we have 640 employees at the city of Appleton. Wow. Uh, we're about 170 to $190 million budget a year. 
uh, between the operating budget and then the capital budget. So okay. it's a large, complex organization. Yeah, no at kidding. The city. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Can you fix this pothole that's right out in front here? On, well, on Law Street? You? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so can you look into the camera and say, yes, you will fix that pothole? No, yes, <laughs> yes, we will fix that pothole. Actually, I'm, I'm glad you kidding, brought it up. Not. No, I'm glad you brought it up because uh, one of the projects that's actually just getting started, we just, we just uh, engaged a, a contract uh, with a design consultant. Uh, Law Street will be reconstructed. Oh, um, really? Okay. Yeah, so we're in the early stages of that process. We, we're getting the, uh, the engineers on board and okay. uh, there'll be neighborhood meetings and conversations as that gets going because it's going to be about dealing with the underground utilities. You know, when we see streets, we're seeing the potholes, we're seeing the surface. Right, right. But the city also has to be concerned with everything underneath the streets. Oh, sure. Because under those streets, we have storm, uh, storm sewers, we've yeah. got water pipes, uh, we've got sanitary sewers. Um, all kinds of other infrastructure, private infrastructure that we have to navigate. Right. Uh, so it'll be a comprehensive reconstruction of Law Street, and it'll be a great opportunity actually to take stock from the neighborhood about how Law Street works now, what what the neighborhood would like to see with Law Street, what our goals sure. are together. Um, and uh, yes, it'll be really exciting. So yes, we will fix that pothole. Um, In 20 years when this project is complete. <laughs> Just sounds kidding. like you've worked with the city right, before. Right, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, these things take time. They're yes, big projects. Yes. You know, this will be a multi-million dollar project, but we're really excited well, about it. Well, as you said, there's so much stuff underground that we don't yeah. see to, to you know, take into account, I'm sure. Exactly. Yes. You yes. know, we want that water to run clean when you turn the faucet on, right. and we want that water to go away when you're done using it. Right, sure. For whatever you're using sure. it for. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, so what other projects do you have in the, within the city oh, man. going on? There's so much. Uh, there's so much going on in the this city. This is only a half hour show, just so you know. Yeah, so I'll keep, I'll keep it as brief as I can. But sure. uh, yeah, there's a lot going on in the city. Yeah. There's been a lot of investment in uh, residential downtown, which has been a really positive thing for the local economy because things have changed since the pandemic in terms of daytime office occupancy. Right. So, you know, people have more options in terms of working from home, working in the office, and we've, we've definitely seen that downtown. So yeah. more residential down there makes different kinds of businesses viable, and that's a good thing for the local economy. So we'll continue to see development on that front. Uh, you know, lots of infrastructure work going on in the city this summer. Uh, that continues okay. to be a point of emphasis for us. You know, sure. Taking out old water mains and replacing them with new water mains and right. getting streets reconstructed. So that work's going on all over the city. It's right. construction season. Yeah, yeah, we've um, seen the barrels all around. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's it's a full and busy summer from a project standpoint. Sure. And yeah, and then summer's also just a great time in Appleton. Lots of events and yeah. uh, opportunities to get together and Are you gonna be enjoy. in the flight day parade? I'll be there. Okay. Just okay. like Memorial Day, awesome. I saw you yeah, out there. Right, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 we were we were down by Eleanor's and you know, I, I knew a couple people that were walking in there when I was waving to them. Yeah. They were saying my name and waving to me or whatever. And the people that we were with, they were like, they, they said to my daughter, Luke, I th uh, Allie, I think your, your dad should probably be in the parade because he knows like half these people that are in the parade. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just the mayor of Meatville here, yeah. you know? But that's, you know, that's the thing about your business. I mean, we've, I've been coming here since I was a little kid. Yeah. You know, getting the penny candies. Yeah, and, right. Um, Did you steal any? They're, no. No? Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Now they're like nickel candies, I think, with uh, you know, inflation. Oh, two, two cents. cents. Yeah. So keeping those prices down. Yeah, right. Um, but but you know, this, this business is a important point of connection for people in the community, yes. and it's an anchor in this neighborhood, uh, and has been what 1945. Yes. Open. Yes. So very it, good. It, you must have researched before it you. It has been. You got it up on the wall over. Oh, there. okay. <laughs> uh, but the the. This business is really an anchor in this neighborhood. And there used to be more businesses like this in neighborhoods around the city that created these little nodes of activity. Right. And uh, it's about more than just you know being able to walk to a, a place and get fresh produce and fresh meat. Um, it's, it's about the social connectivity that happens in businesses like yours. Right. And we're starting to see that in this neighborhood, you know, other businesses popping up around. Right. Uh, Eleanor, you mentioned up the road. Yeah, um, yeah. And it creates these little networks within neighborhoods uh, that are so important and so missing from uh, our our day-to-day -day life in this country. Um, yes. So it's really important, um, not just the not just the stuff you sell, but the connections. the connections that you yes. make. So yes. yeah, it matters. Yes. Yeah, it's a huge deal. All right. So one of my other questions was: You've been coming here since you were a kid. Yeah. What is your What are some of your favorite products? Wow. That you, uh, buy here. you said it's only a half hour, so yes, I'll try. Right, and, okay. right. Well, the bacon is number one. Yes. Uh, your bacon's amazing. 
You, uh, so you said that one time, and I was like, I'm, I think I'm going to put mayor approved I on our next it. ad. It's and I'm like, bacon. I better not. <laughs> it is great bacon. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, so awesome bacon at Jacob's. If you haven't had it, come down and get some. Um, but we, the smoked pork chops are a yes. winter favorite when the grills, you know, it's a pain to go out and grill. Right. And I learned a trick from one of the guys that uh, I think used to work here, maybe it doesn't yeah. anymore, but you, you put a little brown sugar on top of the, the pork chop after you flip it. Right. So in the cast iron skillet, we learned yep. that trick. Yeah. Um, we still Delicious use that, that one. Yeah. The chicken breakfast sausage is really good. Yes. Um, that, that's excellent. We like your smoked salmon. Um, the, the salmon pate is awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, the, it's, it's a great place. You know, we've, this, this food's been on our family table since I was a kid growing up. It's been at the center of Easter's and Christmas's. And, right. Um, and again, there's a, there's a value to that that can't, can't be measured. Right. right. So right. we really appreciate what you do in the community. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's customers like you guys that keep on coming in that support, you know, the local and support Jacobs and yeah. stuff like that. That's obviously how we can stay, stay in business. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that I didn't go over that you would like to tell anybody uh, out there that might be watching? Well, I, I think I would my say, mom is watching. I maybe. would say so. I, I would say Jacobs, Jacobs Meat Market is an experience, right? and um, so so when you come here, it's not again. It's not just like you know, I'm making a run to go pick up some cheese or grab some wieners. I'm I'm coming in for the experience. Uh, of the good fun, the good banter that happens uh, right. in this place. And, whether I know uh, you or not. Yeah, exactly, whether I know you or not. You know, it's like I'd like a half dozen of those. Right, and, right, and maybe six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, <laughs> yeah. so, so um, you know, that's really important, and I, I hope that people have the opportunity, if they haven't been in, uh, to come check it out. This is a great local business. We have so many local businesses in this community yes. that rely on folks uh, to come and, and take advantage of what they offer, and I look around this place, and you got your stuff. But you got Simple Simon in here, and you've got local local producers. Uh, you've got the Gary's Old Fashioned Mix. That's another local business. Right. You got local businesses all over this place. And is that mayor approved? That <laughs> no comment. <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 it, but it really is special, and it creates all kinds of connections, and that's what we need for a thriving local economy. So I really yes. appreciate the work that you do, and yeah. the way you lift other businesses up, and. Uh, in turn, you get lifted up too. So, right, right. Well, we appreciate you, Luke. Uh, last question is Do you like apples? Apples? Yeah. Love apples. You don't? Okay. Yeah. So, do you love apples or Appleton better? Ooh. A Appleton. Appleton? Yeah. Good for answer. Sure. Good for answer. Sure. Sure. Thank you very hey. much for coming. Thanks, I really Luke. appreciate My your time. Yeah, glad to be with you. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. All right. And we're back. Oh, I guess Jake's gone though. He's gone. It's just you and me now. Very nice. Yes. Very nice interview. Yes. You had fun. I did. You had fun. I did. And, and he's a longtime customer. Yes. He came in yes. as a kid to get your penny candies. Right. That are now two it was, cents. It was very important that I asked him because if he what stole, if he stole. Hey, he because denied we it. Have, of course. We, we, <laughs> of course. But we have people that come in here that say, you know, oh, I grew up in the neighborhood, and I, I went used to, to Edison. Steal all the time. Yeah, I, I, not all the time. They would say, but. But you know, I used to steal some candy. I, or I whatever, stole some candy last week. Did you? Okay. you and a brat. I'm just waiting for you and to ask brat. me. <laughs> yeah. 
Nice interview. Nice interview. Thank he'll you. he'll be back. Yes, he he'll will. Be back. Um, very comfortable in front of the camera. Yes. Um, turn it into an advertisement for Jacob's Meat Market. Right. I, I was I was mainly yeah. asking yeah. him stuff that I Why missed to ask yeah. him or whatever. But yeah. No. Yeah. 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 It was good. Very good. Very good. Special days. This is yeah. What I like. June seventh. June seventh. Is that today? It is. That is today. It, it is, is National Chocolate Ice Cream Day. You know what I'm having for dessert tonight? I think you're going to have that for dinner too, probably. Probably, probably. Because you serve, you sell, you sell ice cream. We do. And it's, I don't know the brand. What's the brand? Cedar Crest, I believe. Cedar Crest? Yes. Good stuff. And now they, they just, I just noticed there's like a midnight dark chocolate ice Oh, cream. really? Yeah. Okay. So that's what's in my freezer right now. Okay. Uh, Flag Day Parade is on the 10th. We already talked about that. Yes. The mayor will be there. Yes, he will. Will the meat the the mayor, the of, mayor meat of meat be there? No, he will not. No, he will not. He will be, be out of town in Mech One. Here, I, I mentioned earlier, keep jerky in mind because it's on special right. Monday, June twelfth. That's this coming Monday is National Jerky Day. Did you know that? I guess I did. It celebrates the rich history, immense popularity, and nutritional benefits of dried meat snacks. You have more than a few dried meat snacks. Yes, we do. You do. So. To celebrate June 12th, uh, National Jerky Day, people should come here and stock up. Right, right. Do you know why jerky was invented? It, was, it sounds like it's a joke, right? But no, it's, gonna yeah, tell me no, 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 no. <laughs> um, so uh, the, the Native Americans, when they, would, when they would kill an animal, they, wanted, they needed to preserve it because they were typically large like buffalo or mm -hmm. bison, American bison. Um, and so in order to preserve it, they would salt it. You know, cut it in strips and then salt it so that they could eat it for weeks or even months, um, so that this this animal would not be wasted at all. So, so that's how they developed so it was a type, beef jerky. A way to preserve the meat. Yes. Prior yes. to refrigeration. Correct. Very yes, good. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> you made me sound good there. <laughs> I have comments from last week. You do. I I, the, I don't know what you we have asked. Your people. comments or I have comments that were left oh, under okay. the under last week's video. Okay. I'm going to read some. Okay. Uh, Sue Steinberg says, "Thank you for entertaining me while recovering from knee surgery." Hello, Sue. I hope your knee's feeling better. I have been chuckling at the jokes. Uh, were there jokes? Uh, oh, she's mine, just talking about us, right? Well, <laughs> hey, I hey, think hey, mine hey, were jokes. I don't going? know about yours. <laughs> Sean Dearson, love the local businesses, spotlights, and guests. Right. That is the highlight of the show, of right? Course. And today was the mayor of Appleton, Hosehead. Was it? Uh, as my understanding, now oh. I, I didn't verify his identification. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hosehead, there's a reason I fly Mr. your product Nikesh. 1,700 miles back to Idaho, not Utah. Great job, everyone. I guess you know what that means. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you need he's to explain? He's coming in. He's coming in next week for his uh, for his shipment. Oh, and he's he bringing it back to apparently to Idaho, Idaho not yeah. Utah. <laughs> Uh, BC says he's looking forward, he or she, looking forward to trying some of that bullshit. Bullshit, because last week bullshit, we did all the sheet right, seasonings. Right. Tara Ruyakers? Ru Tara Royakers. Okay. That was a great knock on the joke. Uh, but which one? The one you told or the... The one that I told. Oh, okay. Yes, of course. It was her son's that she, she oh, told me. Oh. Or that he told me. Uh, her four-year-old son gave you the joke for last yes, week? Yes. Yeah. It was that good. And uh, I remembered it. BC, who had already commented previously, also <laughs> threw in, love the corny jokes. Uh, mine was about corn last week, I think. I think sure. it was, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I don't listen to you, so I don't know if it, what it was Last about. week, <laughs> I don't listen to you either. What, what? There was a contest last week. Yes. Or I believe it was a $50 gift card. Yes. To this market right here, Jacob's yes. Meat Market. Yes. And uh, it was a random draw from everyone who commented, and you pulled the name Mary. Yes. Mary, and just so you know which Mary you are, Mary, you commented with, first time watching, you guys did a great job making my day. Aww. Uh, can't wait to you try guys, some new us, products. both of us, not just me. I think it was me. Okay. <laughs> can't wait to try some new products. As I'm new to the Appleton area, moved a year ago. Mary, uh, come on down, see somebody about getting your $50 gift card to this wonderful uh, meat market. And thanks for watching. And thanks for watching. Yeah. I hope you're watching this week. Uh, do you want to do another contest? Sure, let's what do, do it. What do you want to give away? A $25 gift, $25 gift card, <laughs> yes. And oh, uh, in order to enter, people need to comment on this video, either down below here in YouTube or down below here in Facebook. Facebook yeah. And they have to say a word. You have to type a word. Yes. What's that word? Mayor. Mayor. Just comment below with 
at least the word mayor. If you want to right. say something else, fine. Yeah. Maybe we'll read your comment on the air. Right. It's always nice to hear from you. That's all I've got. You got anything else? Uh, that's all I've got too, yeah. You throw your lines right there. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back next week, Wednesday, at 10.30 a.m. with another live broadcast of BS TV. Is that true? That's true. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, please like the video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Uh, come visit us at the store, uh, corner of Law and Pacific. Pacific. By okay. the big pothole. But <laughs> yeah, dodge the pothole. Dodge the pothole. And come on down. We're not uh, talking we're about open. June. No. Right, no. You keep pointing over there. Uh, we are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. All yes. the hours you need. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.